back to my channel. This is Doria, my teacher of English, and today we're going to talk about IELTS General Task 1. So, in Task 1, you're going to be given a task in which you're asked to write a letter of 150 words in approximately 20 minutes. It will always be a letter. The difference is that your tone can be formal, semi-formal or informal. I would go one step further than that and I will tell you not to get confused with formal or semi-formal because really the difference is pretty slight and it doesn't even count. So your answer could be either formal or informal. The majority of times formal. You write an informal reply only to friends and family. All the rest need a formal reply, okay? Basically, in all tasks, they ask you to write about three things in your letter. Generally speaking, it will be to state the reason of your writing, obviously, uh, to talk about what the problem or the situation is in more detail, and lastly, to express what you want or what you expect or what you'd like to happen in the near future. Try to use one paragraph for each of these three. So you're going to end up with three paragraphs and then your, the organization of your writing is ready without too much struggle. As in all writing tasks, you should be on topic, you should be cohesive and coherent uh, and this, this basically means that your letter should be organized and one idea should follow another one smoothly. Uh, you can achieve that by using linking words and phrases which are very very important for your cohesion. Variety of vocabulary is really really important too. Try not to use the same words and phrases again and again. Instead use synonyms. Informal letters the writing of complex sentences is greatly appreciated, so if you need extra help with that, you can watch this video over here. Last but certainly not least, correct grammar, syntax and spelling are of vital in IELTS writing, so if you know you have weaknesses in these areas, please start sorting them out. Okay, these are just basic tips on uh, general task one, stay tuned for more. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope it helps. If this is your first time here, I would like to see you subscribe for more videos related to English. If you have any questions or comments, you can ask me here or on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and of course my website. All links are down below. Uh, thank you very much for watching again. Take care. Bye-bye.